to Organic Healthy Life, and I'm Nancy Addison. And today we're going to talk about what, is it, what does it mean to be healthy? And what are some of the lifestyle changes that we can make in order to have a healthier life? So when we're healthy, we feel good. We sleep well. We, we have urges for food that is actually good for us. And we have a higher mood level that is positive and feels good. I talk to so many people these days that tell me that they're on antidepressants or they have to take sleeping pills. And I know that is something that really challenges people in this era of high stress. We are impacted daily with electromagnetic fields, with toxins in our environment, with so much information bombarding us from emails, cell phones, television screens, everywhere, including the elevator, that we are overloaded with mental input, much more in one day than our grandparents were in a year. And so how do we handle that? And I think that is also one of the most important things about being healthy is we need to learn how to handle the stress in our lives as well as eating healthy food. So what, what can we do in order to handle all of this overload of input? Well, I think one of the things that is very, very important to do is meditation every day, really when you wake up. Just get up and don't just, you know, throw yourself out of bed and, and grab a cup of coffee. I think really importantly is when you wake up, take a deep breath and really focus on what you want to create in that day. You know, what is it that you have on your agenda that might be important? How do you want to envision that happening? And I do think how we project things is so critically important for our lives and then take a deep breath and kind of meditate and envision how you want to approach it how you would love for those people to react to what you're approaching and kind of give yourself a way to go about it in a peaceful loving way and i think when we approach things with our heart truly connect with people on a soul basis. Look them in the eye. Take deep breaths. I think it can really change the way our day goes. And so many things in our lives are impacted by just the day-to-day -day things. There are a lot of things that we come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis that we really don't have control over somebody gets sick or there's an accident for someone that we love there's situations that occur and so we can't always control those but we can control how we react to those things so breathing into them really focusing and looking at that person in the eye being present i think is really critical and then connecting on a heart-to-heart -heart basis it's amazing how that can transform any kind of situation, including somebody cutting you off on the highway. You know, just you know, send them love and, and wish them on their way. And it's amazing how really reacting in a more positive way can preserve your peaceful energy and not have you be like frazzled out there. And then also, I think it's really critical for us to hydrate properly. So one of the things I like to do when I go to bed is I put a glass of water by my bed. And it's a glass of structured water. The structuring of water is critical. Water is a unique element. They studied it for centuries. Scientists still really don't understand it, but they do realize that it has a structure to it. And in order to structure your water, it's really quite simple. But you want to use water that is non-chlorinated and non-fluoridated. So that's number one. And if you don't have a water purifier and you're buying bottled water, I would recommend getting something that you can use at home very inexpensively, like a zero water filter is, is one that you can buy that's around $40 and you can get it in a pitcher or in a 
a large container size. You can get them at a lot of the local stores. I think it's something that is important to invest in. Uh, I have a reverse osmosis purifier and then what you want to do because restructuring water is important because anytime you process water it destructures it and it also makes it acidic and I'm going to expand on a lot of these things in some of the other videos that are going to come in the future but what you want to do is you want to address the fact that first you want to take out the chlorine and the fluoride. The chlorine, for instance, will knock out your immune system almost immediately. And it was one of the first chemicals. It was the first chemical developed to kill people in warfare. So it is not a healthy ingredient in your water. And then the fluoride is a cumulative poison. And you do not want it in your water regardless of what you've heard over the years and uh, i'm going to expand on water in another video that will take the whole show but anyway what you want is you want pure water and then after you've gotten your pure water you want to add some electrolytes back into it because when you purify water you're taking out all the bad things but you also are taking out the good things. So you want to add the good things back in. And you know, electrolytes is a fancy medical term for the word salt. So really you want to add unrefined mineral rich salt to your water. And you can use Bolivian rose sea salt. You could use real salt from Utah. You could use Himalayan sea salt. Any of those would be all right. And you just add about a fourth of a teaspoon to every 16 ounces, 18 ounces of water. And so you add the electrolytes back in that raises the pH balance. And those electrolytes help you actually hydrate and process that water. And without that, your body's pulling minerals from your body in order to process it. So you're becoming demineralized if you're not doing this. And without that, your body's pulling minerals from your body in order to process it. So you're becoming demineralized if you're not doing this. And I would say don't spend the extra money on some of these waters that say that they have added electrolytes to them because many of them are synthetic minerals or chemicals and I believe our bodies can't handle those well and the studies have shown that anything synthetic can cause things like cancer or disease. So you want to avoid anything synthetic and use things that are, I would like to say, given by God. Uh, I believe that God gave us everything we need and if we use them in a form that God gave it to us and our bodies are able to utilize it better. So add those unrefined mineral rich salts to your water that raises the pH, against it electrolytes, but then to structure it, it's super easy. There is a professor who's been studying water at the University of Washington for well over 10 years. And he said that if you stir it in a circle until it creates a vortex, it gives it back its structure. And so I like to stir it to the left because Dr. Tony Jimenez researched what feeds cancer and what doesn't feed cancer. And what he found is food and things that have molecules in them that have electrons that revolve to the left do not feed disease or cancer and the ones that revolve to the right do so just because of his research I like to stir everything to the left <laughs> and I just think that is a good way to go about that so if you just stir your water you just put it in a glass add your you know salts to that then you stir it really quickly and you can also say prayers over it. And prayers are very, very powerful. Or you could take a word to it, like love or gratitude. And many scientists have studied the fact that our thoughts infuse water. It's a unique element. Many scientists who have done this, but there's one, Mizura Emoto, who's a Japanese scientist who has photographed the molecular structure of water. And he has done experiments with it where he has taken identical bottles of water in identical jugs and taped words to them and left them overnight. And he photographed it the next morning. 
And what he found was the molecular structure of this water was very different for the different words. Every single water structure was different. But the ones that had beautiful positive messages on them, like love and forgiveness and gratitude, had incredible water structure crystals like snowflakes. But the ones that had negative words on them or phrases on them like I hate you or I'm going to kill you, the, the water crystal structure looked like pus or something horrid. And so what the scientists have found through this new type of, of being able to photograph and study the, the different molecular structure of water is they found that, yes, prayer and positive thoughts can actually address your water and the water you're drinking. So I would say have a prayer for your water and uh, put it by your bed and in the morning when you wake up before you ever get out of bed drink that water and that helps hydrate you it will really get you going for the morning and it's just a really positive way to start off your day and the fact that we're 66 to 72 percent water and many diseases are caused from chronic intercellular dehydration that is just a great way to start off your day. And how easy is that and very inexpensive. So my thoughts for today are, let's start off our healthy lifestyle with a beautiful morning. Start it off with some positive thoughts, some really good healthy water. And I wish you a beautiful, healthy day. And I'll see you in our next video. And please contact me if you have any questions or if you want to see me address any other types of health situations that you might be having. So I'm Nancy Addison with Organic Healthy Life, and I wish you a blessed day.